Texas, described proudly on their desirable barbecue, small towns, sunsets, and rodeos, is also home to some of the most violent storms on earth. Every year, Texas accumulates more tornadoes per square mile than any other state in the country. And for three straight days, the state was ravaged by Texas-sized tornadoes and windshield-shattering hail. Ooh, okay. As we get up close and personal to six different tornadoes of all shapes and sizes. Day one of this historic stretch of chasing takes us to Holly, Texas a small town north of Abilene, and started off as most chases do, frustrating and indecisive, as a strong cap choked off any attempt at thunderstorm development. And with a widespread area to choose from, picking a target was less than optimal. But that would soon change as a storm erupted, flew north, and smashed into another developing storm, kicking it toward a remnant outflow boundary where the first tornado of the day would touch down just outside of Anson. There it is. This tornado was beautiful, but short-lived. But the storm was just getting going as an even stronger and longer lived tornado crashed to earth. A bird's eye view revealed a stunning view of the vortex as the tornado whips back and forth over the Texas prairie. One might think on such a marginal day this storm would be over, but the constant barrage of lightning bolts still rapidly rotating storm said otherwise as it slowly drifts to the south. Sitting just outside of Holly, we watched as the most debris. destructive and lethal tornado of the day was about to be born and touches down dangerously Tossing close stuff. to homes. Vortices. Can hear the roar. It was hard not to stare in awe at this otherworldly tornado. This was the tallest tornado I had ever seen. Unfortunately though, more and more debris begins to get lofted into the air as the tornado eventually impacts multiple structures. Okay. Perfect.
Right now, the tornado is destroying yeah. multiple houses and seriously injuring a family where my friend Freddie McKinney that was the first good. to arrive on scene. He was able to transport them to a hospital where they would thankfully recover from all of their injuries as the tornado continues to drift dangerously close to the major city of Abilene. The tornado is now at peak intensity as it lifts chunks of earth and trees into the air like toys. These loud thuds that you are hearing is hail the size of baseballs slamming into the ground and our vehicle. As we reposition south, the tornado continues to grow in strength and is nearly stationary as it eats soil from the farm fields. That is getting very strong. Yeah. Borderline violent right now. After a nearly 20 minute rampage, the tornado finally begins to dissipate and does so in the most spectacular fashion wow. possible. Like many other chase days in 2024, the year of destruction continued as we came across the damage path of the tornado and discovered the amount of homes that had been destroyed and would be later raided EF3 and would set the stage for two more insane days of tornadoes ahead across Texas. Something, something, something. Let's go see tornadoes today. Exhausted and still in disbelief at what transpired yesterday, May 3rd took us just 80 miles further southwest towards the small oil town of Silver, Texas, where extreme instability was combining with a remnant outflow boundary similar to what spawned the Holly, Texas tornado. By late afternoon, skies turned dark and Mother Nature was already angry as lightning struck an oil refinery, causing it to burst into flames. To the untrained eye, radar presentation would appear as storms were messy and congealing into a line. But for those who remember May 31, 2013, the El Reno tornado took on a similar fashion under similar circumstances for instability. And as predicted, a storm took over and began to turn right and branch off from its brothers. But with extreme instability can come harder to find views of a potential tornado. And we carefully position ourselves to dance in the bear's cage in hopes of getting a view of a tornado as the storm continues to rapidly organize. With dark skies beginning to swallow our vehicle, we find an oil field road for one last attempt at a view. 
and as we clear the trees, a monster tornado touches down for a second day in a row. Panicked workers can be seen fleeing to the shelter as the local siren sounds and warns of the incoming danger. This EF2 tornado was also nearly stationary, and had it impacted significant structures, likely would have been rated much higher, but thankfully remained over mostly rural areas. The monster now goes back into hiding, and with no other way out, we punch back through the core of the storm. And all three of us pay the price as baseballs begin to fall from the sky. Just absolutely obliterated our windshield. Glass coming in. Eventually, we broke through the bear's cage and back to safety, where a monster mesocyclone was revealed and very chaotic tornadic behavior was observed as smaller tornadoes kept touching down in random locations under a much bigger circulation. Wow. Giving us flashbacks to the faithful day in El Reno, Oklahoma, and satisfied with our view of the first tornado, we deemed the risk not worth the potential reward of another view and bail out of harm's way. With night skies approaching, we call the chase and get ready for the following day, which was shaping up yet again to be another active one for tornadoes. Oh <laughs> Max had fun. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Max was right beside us where we all lost glass. Oh, I didn't even notice this little applique piece right here is correct. <laughs> nice. Ready to do it again today? I am. That's why it's not replaced. I called a few places to see if I could get it fixed this morning, and I'm like, wait. We're going to do it again today. <laughs> <laughs> and that we did, as we continue to follow the storm system deeper into Texas, to a place known as storm chasers as oh reliable. Fort Stockton, Texas is a very unique place, and unless you're passing through, would have no reason to spend much time here. But as storm chasers, you get excited, because thanks to unique geographical features in this area, almost under any circumstance seems to somehow always produce a tornado in the same area. And May 4th would be no exception to this, as an onslaught of lightning indicated a rapidly intensifying storm. But a tornado isn't quite ready yet. And with limited roads, we have to reposition further east and back south in hopes it produces before crossing the roadway. As we close back in for a view, through the rain, oh, a tornado. significant tornado for the third day in a row is born. Watch out. Tripod. When the rain clears, it reveals a monster stovepipe tornado, nearly in the same spot as one I filmed just three years ago. And we watched in awe as it drifts harmlessly across the open field before we have to reposition to maintain a view.
poking back through the vault of the storm, we watch as the tornado begins to rope out over the difficult terrain of Southwest Texas. With the storm becoming high precipitation and a long period of time without a view, we thought for sure the day was over. That is, until another tornado decided to poke out of the rain and slowly drift to the southeast as softballs begin to rain down from the powerful up of the softball. Oh, we're not moving. I'm actually going to go grab it. This tornado, like its lone brother, also became buried in rain and away from view. And with storm chasers beginning to converge on the only road around, we bumped into our friends and began to celebrate the monumental storm season that was unfolding. But how many tornadoes do you really need to see? All of them! <laughs> All the chase. But nature had one more word to say as a rogue updraft erupted and dropped a random baseball sized hail on us. Oh! Okay. My God! Okay, well, we gotta keep going forward. Are we going for it? Yeah, we're going for it. All right. And further totaled our windshield as a final send off for the week. As our friends all converged into the Love's parking lot, we all gawked at the number the storm season had done on our hail-rattled chase vehicles. Oh, and if you thought the season ended here, well, this was just the appetizer as more tornadoes and a historic display of northern lights invaded the US. But that's for another video. <laughs>